A new star system alpha 3.23 EP2 patch just dropped this time with a few bug fixes and some GPU crash fixes as well. In addition to this, the RSI Polaris has been teased and we're going to talk a little bit about that at the end of this video. So to get into the bug fixes, it says they made further streaming optimization for distribution centers to prevent ships on surface from streaming in before the location which is causing them to fall through and create performance issues. One of the bug fixes that they did fix was solar system wide armistice zone is keeping players from using the vehicles and FPS weapons. Man, that's been on for like ever. Um, they fixed an issue that's causing some distribution centers, elevators to lose collision and drop players. They fixed an issue where Grim Hex hangar elevators occasionally do not respond to calls. They fixed an issue where players can gain crime stats by fracturing a legal salvage contract target wreck. They fixed an issue where holding F triggers focusing instead of quick buy. And this is pertaining to the shopping UI. They fixed an issue where half doors may fall open when interacted with even when there are no delays in response for other interactions before we continue i'd like to let y'all know that i do plan on doing a giveaway with one of the upcoming vehicles the mirai pulse in order to participate all you have to do is to be subscribed and leave a comment in any video from this one until the end of june why till the end of june is the target for this channel is to hit 10,000 subscribers by then and just an fyi just last month 42,000 of you watched my videos but it's not subscribed and if just seven percent of y'all were to hit the subscribe button we would hit that target overnight literally all right so just do me a favor the goal is to hit this number by the end of june and the winner will receive a Mirai Pulse. Let's continue. They fixed an issue where oxygen does not naturally refill through intended messages. They fixed an issue where NPC locomotion is bugged during exact positioning into usable cover, causing them to slide and stop incorrectly. They fixed an issue where several game modes cannot be launched in custom lobby. They fixed an issue where salvage and refueling components do not persist between builds in long-term persistence. And it says here, this fix will only apply to items created after this fix was put in. Along with this is two GPU client crashes. And it says here, inventory filter upscaling crash fix. So today, if you haven't seen it already, CIG did drop the trailer for the upcoming Invictus event and the main vehicle or ship that was in that video, which was literally in almost every scene was the RSI Polaris. And it's, it's very hype. It's very hype to finally see it in engine like that. And uh, it's looking amazing. So what CIG is essentially saying that we will be seeing this vehicle, this, this ship, um, as a part of the fleet that will be flying across Stanton. So you'll be able to see it in the PU. This is going to be awesome. Um, but a lot of people are speculating that the interior isn't done based on some of the images they were able to capture in that trailer. So based on this, if CIG does not intend to drop the Polaris into the live build for 323 then it looks like they're holding it back for either 4.0 or star citizen 1.0 it seems like it's most likely going to be 4.0 with pyro being in there and pyro being a much larger system and you're going to need uh, longer range ships um so we're thinking carex we're thinking maybe the odyssey if it ever comes out um maybe things like uh the rsi um galaxy those big big ships are going to be essential for travel then again you guys let me know your thoughts on this down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one